Hello, and thanks for taking an interest in our research poster on relationships between depressive symptoms, simulation vividness, and goal-related emotions. So, personal goals are future states that one is motivated to approach or avoid, and in the process of goal pursuit, both episodic simulation of possible future events uh, and future-oriented emotions have important roles to play. We also know that both of these processes are implicated in depression. Um, the depressed individuals both struggle to imagine future events in detail and experience lower levels of future-oriented emotion. Um, so in this study, we sought to extend these findings looking at both positive and negative emotions, happiness and satisfaction, uh, uh, frustration and disappointment on the negative side. Um, and we looked at ratings both of anticipated emotion, how one feels, um, how one expects to feel on those four emotion scales in the event of achieving a goal or failing it to achieve a goal, and then anticipatory emotions, how one feels right now in the present moment when contemplating that future event. And so uh, results showed, uh, consistent with our hypotheses, that more depressed individuals viewed their goals as less likely to succeed, and they imagine success less vividly. However, we didn't find any direct evidence um, in terms of main effects of depression score influencing the emotion variables. But this was in models that combined anticipated and anticipatory. And in the model for satisfaction ratings, there was an interaction uh, which is visualized for you in figure one, such that anticipatory satisfaction declined with increasing depression level, but anticipated satisfaction remained constant. So to further explore this, in the context of our confirmatory result on vividness, we conducted a mediation model where we looked at if um, the depressive effect on anticipatory satisfaction was partly or fully mediated by simulation vividness. And it showed, in fact, full mediation. So we see there that the, uh, the direct effect becomes non-significant when we account uh, for that mediation by simulation vividness. And so what do we conclude from this? Well. At least um, for rating how satisfied one uh, expects to feel and how satisfied one currently feels, um, depressed individuals only feel a diminished level of anticipatory satisfaction to the extent that they struggle to engage with that process of episodic simulation. And this is nice because it highlights a potential causal pathway between simulation and emotion, which could be important in the ongoing development of um, therapeutic tools to aid in depression by targeting episodic simulation and future-oriented imagery.